c -sharp provides us with many built-in data types for storing information in our program as it executes on the computer. However, in order to be able to work with this data, we have to be able to store it in the computer's memory. All data types are stored in the memory of the computer as the program is executing. And in order to be able to get access to that information, to the data that's stored in that memory, we create something called either a variable or a constant. These are named memory locations for the data that we store. So if we take a look at the different data types that C-sharp makes available, such as the int for storing integer values, or the char for storing character values, string for storing a string of character values, etc. All of this information has to be stored in our program somewhere, and again, the program will store it in the computer's memory. But how do we gain access to that without knowing the physical memory address of where it's actually stored? We do so by creating the variables and the constants to store that information. Now, the name variable, as you might expect from thinking about the name, allows you to change the information that is stored in that memory location. So it varies. The, the, the information could vary within the program. A constant, however, cannot be changed as the program executes. So a constant is something that you create and declare in your code when the application is first written and then it has to remain as that value as the program executes. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to declare some of these variables and constants that we would use working with our programs. So let's say we wanted to store information around, let's say, a person's age. So a person's age is going to be a whole number, even though some people might claim in the middle of the year that they are, you know, 39 and a half years old. We're dealing with whole numbers. We're dealing with integers here. So let's create a variable called age that will hold our age of a person. And in order to do so in C-sharp, what we need to do is start our declaration with the data type. And in this case, we're going to use int as the data type. And then we can give the variable a name, and we call age. Now, it's just a coding convention that we list our variables with all lowercase letters. We will list our constants with all uppercase letters, variables with lowercase letters, and then functions and class names are a little bit different. We're not going to worry too much about those for the time being, but just know that it's a coding convention. Variables usually start with lowercase letters and all the remaining single words are lowercase. We can use something known as camel notation. So if we wanted to call this person's age, we could start it with a lowercase called persons for the first word, and then because age would be a second word within this variable name, we can start age with an uppercase. So it could be person's age written in the way you see it on the screen. This is known as camel notation. So we're just going to call this variable age, so int age, and that's it. That's all we have to do to declare a variable. Visual Studio has a little green squiggly underneath that tells us that we've declared the variable, but we haven't actually used it anywhere. The other thing that's important to note about declaring variables is that you should always assign a value to your variable when you declare it. And this way, we know that before we even use it for the first time, it has a known value assigned to it. And we do that with the assignment operator, which is the single equal sign. So we can say int age equals zero. And what this does is declares a variable called age of type integer, and we assign the value zero to it initially. And we can change that later in the program. If we wanted to create a constant, let's say as an example that we want to create a constant to represent the number of months in a year. We know that's 12 and it's not going to change. So we can use the const keyword, which is becomes a modifier for what we're going to create now. Because it's a constant, we typically create these in uppercase letters and sometimes separate the words with an underscore. So we'll call this constant num of months, but we also have to give it a data type. So we declare it as a const int num of months. And because it's a constant, we have to assign it initially when we use it. So we'll say const int num months equals 12. So that's been assigned. Visual Studio knows the difference between a variable and a constant. So later on in our code, we could say age equals 10. And Visual Studio says, yeah, that's perfectly fine. We allow you to do that. And even though we've made the assignment here, the green squiggly still says, oh, it's, it hasn't been used because we haven't used it in a function or a console.writeline or something like that. 
The num months, however, if we attempted to make an assignment to that to say, oh, we've got a new calendar and the number of months is now 14, and we press enter, then what's going to happen is Visual Studio gives us a little red squiggly, which indicates an error. And this one is kind of odd because it says the left-hand sign of an assignment must be a variable property or indexer. So when you're looking at it, you're kind of thinking, well, what seems to be the problem? I mean, you know, we're not quite clear. It could be one of three things. We know that in this case, it's not a variable. It is a constant because of the const modifier that we put up here. So we're not allowed to assign values in here. The last one that I want to talk about is a structure, which is a type of complex data structure that we can store in our program. And it's actually a built-in type. It's called struct. So we can create this structure to represent just about anything. I'll create a structure called person, struct person. And then within that structure, we can create specific bits and pieces of information. So we might want to create an integer value to store age for the person. We might want to create one that says, what's the person's first name? And we might want to create one that says, what's the person's last name? This is a very simple structure. There's not a lot of information in here. We're simply storing values or multiple pieces of values for this particular variable or structure that we're calling person. So our data types, you know, integer is a built-in simple data type. Structure is a built-in complex data type. With integer, we store a single value same as we would with a string or what have you, as we indicate down here. But with a struct, which is a more complex data structure or data type, we can store multiple pieces of information in here. And if you're curious and wondering about this little squiggly line here, it's telling me it's expecting to see a set of curly braces. And all that it's saying is that C Sharp does not like you to declare a structure inside a method. We can declare it inside a class and C Sharp is perfectly happy with it being there. It just doesn't want to see a structure declared inside a method. So very quick and simple. This gives you an idea of how to declare variables, constants, and structures within your C Sharp application. Just keep in mind, we must declare the data type first, then give our variable or constant a name, and it's a good idea to assign a default value to it when we declare it.